Uh, my name is Rumbi Mishavi. Um, I'm from Harare, Zimbabwe. Uh, my venture is a poultry farming microenterprise project. Um, we are currently working with a group of HIV positive women in Mbarara, Uganda, and we uh, give them poultry farming microenterprises, or fondly known as chicken coops, um, in response to food um, insecurity and poverty as a significant barrier to HIV treatment. And so through the chicken coops, they can earn income to minimize their food insecurity um, and assist with their poverty and generate a sustainable household income. Um, so what inspired me, actually, I'm part of a team of researchers that's really trying to answer the question of um, Firstly, how we can minimize um, the impact of food insecurity, as I mentioned before, and poverty as barriers to um, HIV treatment adherence. And so this is a group of researchers that's really housed at MGH. Um, and how I got pulled into it was, I think, my loyalty first to my professor, who asked me to help him with this project. And um, I think most important, my, um, my time growing up in Zimbabwe, um, in a place, in a country that was really badly affected by the HIV epidemic. I think we had large numbers of people around their productive age dying, and that's inspired me to get into this work. Um, so the challenges my venture faces particularly um, is because we need more groups that are doing work like ours sharing information. Um, what you find is that there's several micro-enterprise organizations all around the continent, um, and they're constantly learning lessons about the populations they're working and how best to serve them. Um, but there's no platform really to share that information. Um, we're currently working with a population that's right at the bottom of the barrel. Um, and one of the issues we face is, you know, we're constantly asking ourselves, how do we improve repayment rates for our loans? But you know, there isn't really a platform to share information and to um, you know, network with other people that are doing these kinds of things. Which brings me to the next point, why Harambe? I joined Harambe to meet other entrepreneurs that are doing micro-enterprise projects. Um, and so that I could somehow be in a group and in an, in an environment that's constantly sharing information um, and making ventures um, and development better in Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, so the future of our ventures really, it's, it has a strict timeline. Um, we have five years in which we're going to implement the poultry farming micro-enterprise project um, and heavily research um, its impact on our population. And within the next five years, we hope to have published um, very robust, you know, strong papers on our results so that we could end up affecting organizations as large as the World Bank and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and affecting how philanthropy and businesses are operating within the African continent and reaching um, potential entrepreneurs right at the bottom. We're not talking about the people that are middle class or the elites, we're talking about the populations that are earning $2 a day.